what are some things that I should know about the IRS from someone who frequently, you know, works with the IRS? It's really not that serious. Honestly, um, the IRS are just like the student loan people. As long as you communicate what's going on, then they're willing to work with you. Mm -hmm. It's about people just not communicating and thinking that they could just not file their tax returns and that all their problems will go away. And if that was the solution to just not file for the tax liability to not generate, (laughs) then a lot more people would be doing that. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. It puts you in jail. So (laughs) so with the the interest interest rate, that penalty is going to kill you. Right. So the IRS does charge what's called an underpayment penalty. Basically, if you're self-employed or entrepreneur, the IRS expects you to pay 90 percent of your taxes within the calendar year. So a lot of times entrepreneurs are seeing where if their tax liability is above that a thousand dollars when they file their tax return, then they are hit with that underpayment penalty Hmm. because they didn't pay enough in their quarterly estimated tax payments. And so as entrepreneurs who don't have an accounting background, it can be very difficult to figure out how much should that payment be? And so that's why it's so important to work with a tax professional that specializes in tax planning. And a lot of times, even if the bill's like $12, they start panicking because they think they're gonna get levied. It says intent to, you know, like, it's it's really before the IRS takes any money out of your bank account without your permission there's you're given a well amount of warnings like mm-hmm. Like I got months, years. I mean, I've seen years. I would yeah, say that. I've I seen mean, multiple years. Yeah, year at past. least a year. I mean, I've, I honestly, I have never seen it with uh, less than multiple years of sending notices and communications. They try for a long time before going to extreme measures. And they'll take a payment plan. I assume they'll take like their Absolutely. Flexible. If you meet certain requirements, then you're definitely eligible for a payment plan. Tax resolution piece itself, there's so many different avenues to which you can take that um, you know, one shouldn't be fearful of the IRS. There are so many different options on either reducing that liability. Um, a lot of times people went to the person that does taxes beside the Popeyes that they're opening <laughs> up. And, you know, that person doesn't really know what they're doing. That person incorrectly filed that tax return. So then they come to me for me to properly file that tax return. And then I can pass them to an attorney friend of mine that can um, handle the tax resolution process in a timely fashion. But is it so? It's still probably better to have filed that bad tax return. At least you don't have like a failure to file or the IRS isn't like. Oh, or, absolutely. Or the, yeah. Yep. So a bad tax return is better than no tax return. I mean, you want to fix it, but well, you, he, he, you just want to start. If you're ever worried that you did something bad in the past, probably better to have filed than not to have filed. Guys, um, you can give us a call anytime if you need help planning your estate, making a trust, doing probate stuff, literally anything about end-of-life legacy preservation. Give us a call, 404-939-7562. You can send us an email at info at modernestateplanning.com. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hey, also, we just created an ebook that is linked in the description of this video. It's the first link down there. There. It's called The Most Common Mistakes to Avoid When Planning Your Estate. You can go grab that ebook and it will help you avoid some of those big mistakes that we our attorneys have seen individuals make. So go ahead, get that ebook. It's down there in the description.